Hi, this is Dr. Van Regan at Reno Sparks Med Spa in Reno, Nevada, and I have a lovely volunteer here, Lisa, and she's going to get some facial filler today. Um, uh, Allergan makes a variety of fillers, including the various Juvederm lines. There's Juvederm Voluma, which lasts about two years. The Volure, their newer product, lasts about 18 months. And we're going to put about a syringe or so of each one. And if you look at Lisa's face, um, she has a little bit of volume loss. Uh, because she's not 15 anymore, and she's got a little bit of uh, depressed stuff here. If you look at that, that's kind of flat, like the top of a mason. We'd like a little bit of a, more of a cup there. Same thing over here, and she's had some Juvederm before. Mm -hmm. How'd you like it before? I do like it. You do like it. What, what do you like about it? That makes me look younger. All right, <laughs> so it kind of fills the volume up. Where have you had it before in your face? I've had it here, and I've had it here, and I've also had some right down in here. Okay, so we call this the pre gel sulcus. We're probably not going to do that today. Now, in this area of the face, not really a danger zone. So when I inject down here, I'll be kind of coming straight in with the needle like so. Here, it's a 30 gauge, so it's a pretty small needle, roughly the same size as we give Botox with. I typically give uh, filler products other than the lip. Sometimes I'll lie them down, but in I typically give facial fillers uh, in a sitting or partially sitting position because you like to see the effect of gravity. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. And you're putting this right on the bone, so when you hit the bone, it kind of hurts a little bit. And that one's done. Most of them don't bleed. This is similar. There is a nerve near here, so it kind of can be tender. And she's already got fuller volume there. You can see that this sort of divot on this side is pretty well gone over here, and that's just with 0.2 cc's of product. So she's right, it does make her look younger. Now, if you had to rank this pain with 10 is awful and 1 is barely, how would you rank this pain? Seven. Seven? So this hurts more than the other did, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, there is a nerve in that area called the infraorbital nerve in the cheek, and mm -hmm. we're kind of close to it. All right, so now if we look at her, in my opinion, she's filling better here than here, so I'm going to give her some more here. I'm going to switch to Voluma with a needle, which is a very similar Allergan product. I'm going to give her some more Voluma until I think she looks symmetrical, and then we'll finish it off with giving her more volume in all of those locations. The upper face is a nice place to put these fillers, and this volume is a wonderful product. It's wonderful because it, it's got body to it. It's a little thicker. It's kind of like pea soup versus French onion. And because it's thicker, it holds the body better where gravity's an issue and uh, the cheeks are such an area. This area is called the cheekbone, or in doctor talk, the, the zygoma or zygomatic arch. And if you look at her now, she's got much more body there. Um, and we'll massage that and move it around a little bit and smooth it out, which I like to do when I'm done. Okay, relax now. Turn toward me. What do you yeah. think? I like it. You like it? Mm -hmm. You think it's better? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So I often bring in an extra syringe of filler. The patient says they want to. I, I bring a third one in. I don't pressure anybody, but a lot of people want more. They see little uh, do stuff. You don't too often need extra stuff if you're doing a small area like lips or something or, or revising the shape of the nose. But when you're doing stuff like cheeks, temples, forehead, you can put a lot of filler in and still get uh, more benefit from more in at least most cases. And there you have it, a new woman. This is Dr. Van Rieken signing up, signing out for Reno Sparks Med Spa. Stay good looking.